Hi, no coder Zaz here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to implement your billing flow from the pricing page to the customer portal um, in just a few steps in WordPress. Let's jump into it. So say you're a designer, developer, or marketer with an agency that's running on WordPress. You have your customers, you validated the need for your agency, and you're ready to sell your service. What are you going to do? So here's our little game plan, if you will. So our use case here is that we have a design agency, uh, design development agency. The game plan is to create a website and a pricing page first. That's going to need the help of Billflow, WordPress, and Stripe. From there, we are going to need a members only dashboard, which we will build out in WordPress. And finally, we need the customer portal billing page where our customers can go to manage their subscription. So let's just dive right into it. So our journey is going to begin in WordPress. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create these three pages. So our landing page, our dashboard, and our customer portal. I've already done that. And we can take a look at it right here. Okay, so we have a demo site. Uh, it says an agency that builds high converting websites. We've got a little about us section, and then <clears throat> we're about to add a pricing section as well. So ignore this button. This is for my reference. Um, but from here, it's going to take us, once a user signs up, they are, they are going to be taken to this dashboard. Um, the dashboard is gonna have whatever you want on it. Maybe it's just uh, some content that you're providing your users on how they can market. Um, and we are also going to be including a billing page um, and our customer portal will be embedded on this page. So let's go back and let's jump into Stripe where I have created three products for my three tiers. I have a basic tier, which is very misspelled. <laughs> and each of these tiers have two different metadata tags attached to them. The first one is the SV underscore service, which I called it design agency. That is the, that's going to be the identifier in bill flow once you're ready to build your billing page. And the second tag is going to be the SB underscore tier, which is going to be the name that's going to show up on your pricing page for that specific tier. So as you can see here, I have my basic tier and I have my premium tier. I also have a pro plan with the tier name pro. Once you've set up your pricing, however way that you want it in Stripe, we are going to go to Billflow. If you haven't already, you want to sign up. If you have, you want to sign in. And we are going to create a new pricing page from here. I'm going to name this WordPress Design Agency WordPress design agency pricing. And the first step is going to be to select a service which has been imported from our Stripe account that we've connected to Billflow. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see the most recent one that you just created. In my case, it's design agency. And as you can see, it has three products in it. From there, we are going to configure our pricing Okay, here we don't have any product images or descriptions, um, but feel free to add that in as you wish. Everything looks good over here. I want to use the Billflow checkout page. If you have your own checkout page, then you can just use a redirect. You can also add a features list, which I'm not going to, um, but I do have a video on how to do that as well on our YouTube channel. And in the checkout settings, I want to enable password field, require card on sign up. I want to also show the total price in checkout. 
And the most important piece here is going to be, I want to redirect my users to a link after they've signed up. And that link is going to come from one of the pages that I created. And in my case, that's going to be the dashboard. So let me go to my dashboard and all you need is this slug. So let's go back to build flow, paste that in. <clears throat> and you should be all set. I'm also going to add some CSS. Okay, once you've done that, you can also um, configure your language and advanced settings as well. I won't be touching any of that. And we are ready to save and embed. So you save it, and once you do, you're given all these wonderful options. I'm gonna select WordPress copy this code and we're going to go back into wordpress so in our pricing page we are going to add a block for our short code so let's do that and let's just paste the short code that we have update preview <clears throat> scroll all the way to the bottom and we have our pricing page. And of course you can add a header, a title, and snazz it up for yourself if you wish. Okay, so we have our pricing page. Now the only thing that we really need, and we have our dashboard built out as well. Um, now all we really need is the customer portal. So we're gonna go back into Billflow select customer portal, create a new one, and configure this, right? So we are going to, I want to enable my customers to change their plan. I don't wanna allow a plan change for canceled subscription, but I do want to allow them to resubscribe. I also want to allow um, enable coupons. I'm not live yet, but if I was live, I would have to enable security hash as well. And I want to show all customer invoices. When a customer goes to cancel, I want them to be asked for their reason and cancel immediately. And once we have all of that configured, we are going to select a service again. So make sure that it's the same one as your pricing page. So I don't wanna change anything in my plan change settings either. You can add a features list again if you want to. And our checkout settings, we are just going to need a name on card. You can even take that away really. Um, and I wanna show total price again. Add some CSS again. Close that and, oh, almost forgot. Let's name this. Okay, we're gonna save that and we're gonna do the same thing that we did for our pricing. So select WordPress, copy the code, go to the designated page, add a short code block and paste that baby in. Update. And let's go to preview. And it's going to show us the pricing because we are not signed up for any of these plans. So we really want to view this incognito. But before we do that, we want to make sure that this portal is only shown to logged in users or users that are subscribed. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add another line to our short code that's going to tell WordPress that this is only going to be shown to users who are logged in. Now we have all of that information in our docs and you can find that by going to docs.billflow.io um, and in the no code integrations section, you'll be able to see all of that information. So what we want to do is copy this 
go back here, paste it, and update. <clears throat> So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this all works in Cognito. Okay, future Zaz here. Um, I realized that it my video got cut off towards the end, so I'm going to show you guys that this actually works. So from the main web page or the landing page, we're going to scroll down. We are going to select a plan. Let's say it's $3.99. Fill out the form. Confirm. And we get redirected to our dashboard, which I actually went ahead and redesigned. Um, and from here, you can go to the billing. And that is where your customers will be able to manage their account. Um, now let's make sure that a user has been created in Stripe as well. So let's go to Stripe, go to customers, and there we have it. The new user has shown, showed up and it shows that they were charged $399. Um, subscription has been created and it's going to be ongoing on a monthly basis. Now, what if our user wants to cancel? Well, let us know why, okay. Cancel the subscription, and there you have it. Your user can also resubscribe at any time. And that's it. That's the full extent of the tutorial. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and let me know what other use cases you would like to see. Bye for now.